Hi, my name is Lennox, and today I will be reviewing a game, which is uh, Nigel Short versus Watu Kobe's. Both of them are grand. Both of them are masters, and I will be looking at their game right now, and it's it's the it's a it's a South African Open. You have to be over 2011, or well, 2011, to play in the tournament. This is one of the good tournament, and I will show you the game. It started out with uh, no, wait, D4. Knight to F3, just developing. Right now they're just developing their pieces, making way for bishops to develop. Uh, I think they played G6 to make room for the bishop. And then white's just uh, starting out the London. He probably played B6 to open up a square for the bishop, for example, Fianchetto, but this bishop, I guess we could see it, I think he's gonna Fianchetto this bishop, like that, soon. But white decided, no, I don't, I, well, if you're gonna go there, I, if you're gonna get another Fianchetto with bishop, I may as well just try to stop you from getting space, so that's why he played, uh, a4, and then well, I said, oh, if you don't, if you're gonna get more space, I may as well just get some space. So, A6 to make some room for the bishop. Okay, like I said, Fianchetto bishop. Castle. D6 to try to uh, open up the center with tempo. Bishop back to stop it so it's not with tempo. And they are just uh, building up some pawn structure. This is the London system pawn structure before he played B4. Then the knight just came out and white's just getting a lot of space. Trying to do some threats. The queen got into the game. And then the rook decided that, I think the rook went there because, I mean, I think the rook went to A, I mean, B1 because, because, because I think he knew that captures was going to be a good move. And after captures back, knight anywhere would discover attack the bishop. But his opponent decided, if you're going to attack there, I might as well just do my own attack. And that's why he's attacking. And uh, I decided to play bishop to c4 to attack the knight and make it run away. Instead, I decided to capture. But, okay, it's actually going to win a pawn. Okay, it's equal. Everyone has equal material. Black defended his pawn. Uh, white uh, attacked it again. Black defended it again with a pawn. Uh, I don't see the purpose of rook there, but I'm pretty sure I could see the next move. Oh, I think he played there to extra guard the pawn and make sure that that would not happen. Knight back, maybe just a maneuvering. Yep, definitely a maneuvering to get to either F4, I guess. I think F4 is the main plan. Yep, and that's correct. Okay, bishop there. Bishop back to H6. It's just like Blush is just wasting time. 
and so after uh, De White decided to bust open the position, and White decided to put his rook on a more active square. Black decided to guard the pawn. White capture. Wait, is that a capture? Wait, let me see. Yeah, that's a capture. And okay, they traded a few times. And then Black guarded his pawn. White captured a pawn. Black captured a pawn. Wait. What's guarding the rook? What happens if rook just captures rook? I not, I don't see anything. What happens? Uh, what happens after rook captures rook? I don't see anything. Oh, then queen captures rook. That's why. Okay. I'm not sure what happened. I think I have a good idea. Rook captures, queen captures. Okay, we're back to the game. I've never really uh, seen an analyzation on this, but I think I'm doing just fine on this. Okay, white captured to get the pawn back. White captured and traded. Pieces. Uh, white got his bishop active. The rook attacked the queen. The, the queen saved herself. The queen got the pawn. The rook to b1 uh, was to control the open file. Well, black attacked the queen again. White saved the queen. Black decided to go back to defend the f f eighth rank. The queen stepped in. The black attacked the queen again. The queen stepped in farther. Black keeps on attacking the queen. When the queen went to c8, black attacked it one last time, but then rook, uh, rook to b8 is it, and the game is done. White resigned. He resigned because of ca if captures, captures, it's black's turn, and we're up upon. King is definitely safer, and it's a lot. It, even if White sacrifices and is down a pawn, these two pass pawns, this, these pawns are, should overwhelm a bishop. What I'm talking about is if uh, captures, captures, uh, uh, how about White? Oh. Black is in uh, uh, Zook, so if Black goes there, I was thinking about if captures, we can just do captures. I was thinking I was actually, wait, I think I would take captures Rook, and King there, I think after captures, I was thinking about cap, capture, and then capture, capture, and capture, and once, and then uh, f4, f5, king to f2, bishop there, and then probably king here would be the best move, because the bishop can't get around so fast. And finally, when the bishop gets to a useful square, he gets cut off, so it has to go back. And then when they go to here, it tries to attack the pawn, but the pawn is too fast. The king decided to, this is what I, this is what I'm thinking. And after a bishop there, the king activates itself, 
and it's just too much for black. And black can at least manage to go there, but after here, 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 captures, here, the bishop can't get back in time. Oh wait, the bishop can get, oh wait. I think the king would go there. The king tries to step in. The pawn would go there. And the bishop attacks this pawn. This pawn will, this uh, pawn will go there. This goes here. This king will go there. The king will go there. The, when, the, when the bishop uh, can't do anything. And I guess the bishop goes there. And if they're here, black gets a check. White is back. Black goes there. White goes uh, here. And uh, I think uh, black has to go back. And chasing the bishop away now. And then finally, after the king here, the bishop can't seem. It, at least white can make a draw after a bishop here, there, and if there, here, and if there, and then here. That's the, that's the real buster. And after captures, uh, black will try to at least get something going over here. But white is just too fast. Into a queen, king will move. Uh, king will probably go there. King. Nope. King will go there. Queen will go, king will go here. King will go there. King will go here. King will go there. King will go here. And black has got to play here. But then after check, move down. Checkmate. Black is black loses. So that is the game that I wanted to share with you. And it's between two grand I mean masters. Not exactly grandmasters. But I hope you enjoyed watching the Grandmaster game. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Chess with Lennox. And I'll be back for more videos. Goodbye.